flows into the lungs, whence with a fresh supply of oxygen it returns to the heart and then flows into the arteries of the organism. The autoejector works on the same principle. The apparatus includes a system of pumps for supplying blood and drawing it off. The arterial pump supplies the organism with arterial blood. When the blood has given up its oxygen, the venous pump draws it back into the reservoir. Here, just as in the lungs, it's enriched with oxygen and returns into the organism. The blood passing into the arteries of the body ensures the necessary metabolism. In this way, the autojector can perform the work of both the heart and lungs. We begin the experiment of revival. The experiment is carried out on a dog. A substance which prevents clotting is introduced into the animal's blood. The dog is under an anaesthetic. It doesn't feel pain. No interruption of the animal's normal functions has yet occurred. The dog reacts to touch. Its pupils are normal. The special apparatus, the chymograph, registers the breathing and the function of the dog's heart. The pulse and breathing are normal. The experiment begins. All the blood is drained out through the carotid artery. heart has stopped. This is one of the animal's last gasps. This is the final breath. dog is dead.
Without operative interference, death would be final, as the disintegration of the body cells would gradually set in. The autoejector is being attached before starting the revival. The arterial pump is connected with the artery. 